Hi everyone, 2019 is already here and if you're looking to shop for makeup or skincare, here in this video I've compiled a list of all of my favorite things from 2018. So this video contains all of my favorite makeup, skincare and a few other things uh, which I feel is the best from 2018. So let's begin. begin with makeup. In the makeup category, let's start off with lipsticks and the first one is from Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild makes one of the best lipsticks. I am not a very big fan of Maybelline lipsticks but I really loved Wet n Wild lipsticks uh, because the color payoff is amazing, the quality is really good and it stays on your lips for 4-5 to five hours which is very very nice and also even after this lipstick has gone away, it leaves a little pink tint. The color is pink. So it leaves a pink tint on your lips which I really liked. And the next one is this lipstick from Gala of London. And I've spoken about this lipstick in my uh, lipsticks under Rs 250 video. So this is really good because the color is amazing. This stays on your lips for a very long time and uh, also you know this is matte so I really like this lipstick. And also you can check out these lipsticks from uh, Faces especially this range it lasts on your lips for two to three hours which is not bad and also this color sweet amber is really good moving on to concealer and this is a drugstore product and this is from la girl they make one of the best concealer these have medium coverage and it is totally buildable you can even put two layers to make it look like a full coverage concealer and they also have color characters in orange, greens and purples which is uh, amazing and these are one of the best affordable concealers they cost you around 500 rupees which is totally fine for a concealer like this one so talking about mascaras how can I not mention this one from Essence so I've been using this mascara all throughout 2018 so before I started using this Mascaras, when I use them uh, on an everyday basis, they usually make my lashes fall, which was a really disappointing thing. I love about this mascara is that they don't clump up your lashes and they don't look artificial at all. And uh, they make your lashes look thicker and longer. This is not a waterproof formula as well and they don't make your lashes fall like many other mascaras do. I stopped using mascara for almost 6-7 months before I found this one because mascaras usually, you know, they make lashes fall and that is very disappointing. So here are three of my favorite eyeshadow palettes that I used in 2018 and these are one of the best eyeshadow palettes and the first one is from NYX. If you're a beginner and if you're looking for a palette which contains neutral shades, um, and NYX makes one of the best eyeshadow palettes and uh, you know this contains all of the browns and uh, it contains matte, shimmers and also a white which is just perfect. And the next eyeshadow palette is from Wet n Wild. This is also a little similar to that one but it has three of my favorite shades and those are these three which is very beautiful and that is the one I'm wearing right now. And the next one is from Freedom. I've not removed the cardboard uh, you know, packaging also because um, unfortunately I dropped it down and it broke. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette because it has all the beautiful bright shades. It has neons, it has uh, bright pinks, purples, orange and silver. So when I started learning makeup, this is my first colored eyeshadow palette that I got because uh, the ones I had before was mostly uh, light pinks and browns and things like that. So this is my first bright colored eyeshadow palette. So I didn't really use this when I got the palette and last year was the first time I took this palette out and I tried every single color and just felt how beautiful every single color was and yeah this is one of the best eyeshadow palettes to invest in if you're looking for bright colors. So guys, Australis has the best cream eyeshadows and a metallic cream eyeshadows to be particular. The formulation is really good. 
I prefer applying this with my fingers. When you apply it with a brush, it just clumps up on your eyelid sometimes. So using your fingers is one of the best options to apply this uh, eyeshadow. Now, the next part is a bronzer and highlighter. My favorite bronzer is from L'Oreal and I use this, I guess, for all of my makeup videos. I even use this for almost all of my makeup. I even posted pictures of an Instagram. It soothes me. It doesn't look very artificial or anything. And it also has a highlighter shade, which I don't really use. But yeah, the bronzer part is very, very good. Uh, they also have a mirror and a brush. Um, sometimes I use this brush, especially when you have to do nose contouring and all. This brush is amazing. And for highlighter, this has to be my all-time favorite. Usually drugstore highlighters are not that amazing. They sometimes look a little chalky as well. But this one is an exception. And look at the highlight. It looks like that natural glow you get, right? So recently, at least for 4 to 5 months, I guess, I've been using this BB cream from Garnier. And they suit all Indian skin tones. Uh, they just have one shade. And this soothes every Indian skin tone. I don't know how. Um, this is how the shade looks like. Uh, it might uh, look a little light or dark for you, for your skin tone. But when you blend this, this matches your skin tone so well. And this has a very light to medium coverage, which I personally like. And I don't use this for my whole face every single day. I just use it under my eyes and around my lips uh, to make the areas a little uh, concealed. And then the next thing is this makeup remover from Garnier again. And this is the micellar cleansing water. And uh, I've always been using coconut oil to remove my makeup throughout my life. And I, I didn't really want to go for makeup removers or micellar waters because the makeup you're putting on your skin is already, it has a lot of chemicals and when I put the coconut oil at the end of the day, I feel a little relieved and I feel like I'm doing a little bit good to my skin. But then I realized that I need something like this one which doesn't contain any oil but still breaks down your makeup. Uh, because when you're doing makeup and you mess something here or there, uh, you can just take a little q-tip and erase that part alone. Uh, when you use oils, you're just going to smudge the entire makeup. Uh, so something like this one will be really helpful. Okay, talking about nail polishes, Nykaa is one of the best nail polishes that I've ever used in my entire life. Um, okay, that's too much, but... Uh, Nykaa has great nail polishes. Uh, you should see their color range guys. They have nail polishes in almost every single colors. They have pastels, they have uh, uh, mattes, glosses, uh, they even have uh, this high shine, you know, gel shine or whatever. And uh, they even have neons which is my favorite. Uh, these are matte neons. You can just put on their gloss uh, top coat on if you don't prefer matte. If you're looking for affordable but good quality makeup brushes, you should check out these brushes from Shein. Um, they have uh, different handles and the quality is so good. Um, they just blend your makeup so well like a proper, you know, professional makeup brush does. I just have one book. Now I just feel really bored when I'm reading books. I don't enjoy it anymore. The maximum I could read is two pages and then after that I'll still be reading but then uh, when I stop for a while and think what I just read, I'll have no idea. It's like that. So the only book that I read this year is Secret. This book is so good. Obviously I felt a little boring in the middle. Uh, because I'm not really someone who would uh, enjoy reading books these days. I prefer more audiobooks, podcasts and videos the best. So uh, yeah, this book is so good because the information it holds is very very valuable. And I feel that this has worked for me a lot of times in my life. Knowing or unknowingly, I have applied this in my life. And the secret, the concept is very true and it really did work. So if you're looking for a good book to read, check this out guys. Yeah, the first product that I would like to mention are these face masks from Good Vibes. Uh, these have been very popular in the internet a few days back and I think that's because uh, they have this charcoal variant in them and also they're very very affordable. They have a lot of different variants and this is the activated charcoal. 
and this is Lotus and Sage. They have a lot of variants and they have also mentioned what each of their masks do. So you can choose one according to your skin type. Uh, so the activated charcoal one, this is really good if you have oily skin. But if you have normal or dry skin, uh, you shouldn't be probably using this because uh, this just removes every single bit of oil, gunk, dirt and everything from your skin. But uh, this is a little drying if you have uh, normal or dry skin. So if you have dry skin and if you're looking for a night cream, just blindly go for this one. This is the Body Shop Vitamin E Night Cream. This cream is so moisturizing. I can even feel the moisture in my skin when I wake up the next morning. So yeah, if you have dry skin, check this out. Scented body lotions, I have to. One is from Bath & Body Works and the other one is from Victoria's Secret. So uh, I've been using this for the past 6 months and I still have a lot left inside these two because you just need a little bit and you can spread this for your entire arms and uh, neck or whatever. And apparently the perfume in this uh, Victoria's Secret uh, Sheer Love Body Lotion is a little stronger than the Bath & Body Works one. Still I really love it. I literally don't wear any kind of perfumes when I'm wearing this. So talking about my favorite um, natural products of this year, rosemary oil should come first because this will help you grow your hair from the roots. Uh, it's very very beneficial guys. And the next one should be lavender oil. If you have trouble sleeping, this oil should be very very useful for you. You just need to add like 10 drops of it to a little spray bottle and spray it in your pillow. And I promise you, you can sleep better. And the next one is a mixture of basin, curd and wild turmeric. So this is a particularly used for brightening purposes. So yeah. And uh, the next one has to be ghee. If you have dry lips, this is so beneficial. So if you have dry lips, try applying ghee on your lips uh, for just two nights and you'll definitely see a difference. So yeah, that's it for today's video. See you guys.